getting your thoughts and ideas and your voice on the internet should not break the bank. And in this video, I'm going to be going over this really awesome budget-friendly microphone by Fafine. This is the Fafine 688 microphone. It is an XLR and USB microphone. So that means you can connect it to your Rodecaster Pro, your Focusrite, or your iPad. So let's jump right into it. So there are four things I want to go over about this mic. The sound quality, the durability, versatility, and lastly, affordability. So let's start off with sound quality. You've been listening to me talk on the mic for the whole entire video, and it sounds really good. It, I really love the sound of it. And I'm going to be reading a poem so y'all can hear if you can actually use this microphone as a voiceover mic. If that's what you're doing, that's, if that's what you're into, check it out. Do not go gentle into that good night. Old age should burn and rave at close of day. Rage, rage against the dying of the light. Do not go gentle into that good night. I, I like the sound of this mic. The proximity effect is really good. The pop filter is not the best, but I mean, it sounds really good. I mean, the off access, you know, you can still kind of hear a little bit, but you know, directly in the center, that's where, that's where the meat and potatoes are right there. All the protein, all the protein and carbs right there in the center. And then you got it right here. And then we're back, back at the meat and potatoes. I like the sound of it. Let's get into durability. To be honest, this feels wonky. Um, like if you put your finger here, if you're trying to adjust the volume, like if you have headphones in, you, you, you can literally hear everything. I thought the rubber things were kind of absorb some of that noise but on the back of the device you have your headphone jack xlr and USB-C. i like to test out the back of some devices to make sure that the USB-C port isn't loose or anything sometimes they can be and this one was pretty snug the dials are really good too the dials are really smooth to use so it seemed pretty durable it feels good in the hand it's just really light which is great i mean light microphones they're great like i i don't you know, my SM7B is pretty heavy. You know, you need like a super du super duper, super duper, super heavy duty microphone arm to hold it up. Whereas this one is very light. As far as versatility, the fact that it has USB-C, it's great, meaning that you can connect it to a computer directly without using an audio interface. Or if you're in a pinch and you want to record a podcast or record some audio, you can use an iPad. I haven't tried it on a phone yet. Maybe it could probably work on a iPhone 15. You might have to have an adapter to supply power to both your iPhone and the microphone. But on the iPad, it works pretty well. The fact that it not only has XLR, but it has USB-C. Versatility, it gets an A plus for me. So as far as affordability, this microphone is extremely affordable at $58 right now on Amazon. That's I mean, the features you're getting, it's, it's ridiculous. Like I remember starting podcasting there, some microphones were like 20, 30 bucks and they didn't have USB-C. They, they were either USB mics or XLR mics. Now you could have gotten like really good USB slash XLR microphones, but they didn't come with a shock mount. They didn't come with adjustable knobs. They didn't come with a headphone jack. So all in all, I say that this is a really good deal for 58 bucks. I mean. You guys are winning compared to old Gil back in the day podcasting with a pile microphone. Yeah, it was rough. So this is a really good deal. So this is the Shure SM7B mic, and I'm going to do a touch test. You can't even hear, can't really hear that. If I want to adjust the knobs, you can't really hear that either. I'm, I'm hand holding it, you know, I'm, you know, moving around. Uh, I can't say that for the Fafine, and this is how beefy and saucy the SM7B sounds compared to the Fafine mic. And this is the Elgato Wave DX microphone. This is an XLR microphone, just like the Shure SM7B. And it has some handling noise, like, but this one is just, you set it and forget it. I like the sound of the Fafine. It sounds closer to the Shure SM7B, whereas this is, it gives me a more brighter, brighter tone. I don't know. It kind of reminds me of the Rode Pod mic, in my opinion, in my ears, in my studio space, with my limited experience with microphones. 
the Rode Pod mic is kind of that's what it sounds like this microphone. Um, but but yeah, this is how this sounds, and I'll plug the Fafine mic so y'all can hear that. This is the Fafine mic. This is how it sounds. Testing one two three, and this is the Wave DX mic. One two three. And this is the Wave DX mic, testing one, two, three. This is the Shure SM7B, testing one, two, three. This is the Shure SM7B, testing one, two, three. I'm a firm believer in not limiting yourself. And this is a great microphone that you can use professionally for voiceovers as you heard, or you heard me read the poem and it sounds fantastic. All right, y'all, hope y'all enjoyed this video. If you did, please comment down below, like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Oh, also, there's a link in the description for this microphone. So if you want to get it, check it out. Yeah, there you go. All right. Peace.